Hi everyone, this tutorial video is about the loop communication that happens in the queue message handler template on LabVIEW. So in the queue message handler template, there are two loops that exist. One is the event handling loop and the second one is the UI message loop. So the UI message loop, it works as a bridge between the event handling loop and the multiple other while wow loops that you have created. So as you can see, the blue arrows are messages, the red arrows are streams, and the green arrows are messages. So as you can see, in this scenario, you have an acquisition loop here to acquire data from, let's say, a sensor. So as you can see that the queue messages are going back and forth, the UI message loop and the acquisition loop. Uh, while that is happening, the acquisition loop is actually reiterating itself. So let's say in another scenario where I add another loop, let's say in this case it's a logging loop. So what I can do is that I can actually stream uh, queues or data to uh, other loops, let's say from the acquisition loop to the logging loop. While that is also happening, the logging loop can also stream back and forth the message queues and also reiterates itself. And by some point, you want the, the data to be displayed on let's say a data display loop. So what you can do is that you can stream the queues to the data display loop so that you can you can have one loop that is uh, fixated on just doing one job which is to display uh, the data from the acquisition loop. And let's say if the event handling loop, uh, let's say you want to stop the entire program so when you click the stop button or the exit button, so the event handling loop would actually pass a message down to the UI message loop and the UI message loop would uh, pass on the message to the various different uh, loops to actually stop the code from running. Uh, and that's all. That's all from the loop communication basics on the Q message handler template on LabVIEW. Thank you very much.